That last flight was a bit hair racing. Of course I had a system failure of some sort the first time I took the saber up hard, but uh, thankfully there wasn't any real major damage. The hydraulic line had ruptured and it just made a mess under the panels of the aircraft. <coughs> the repairs didn't take too long. I was only out for a better part of a week. My uncle had driven down from Manapa and was allowed onto the base. He helped with the repairs. The smile on his face when he saw the saber again was something to behold. It was just like old times, working late into the night, getting down and dirty with a panel-less saber. After the r repairs had finished and the hydraulic lines tested and checked, it was back to the flight line. But the missions I was receiving was not what I had expected. For the last two months I've been doing nothing but VIP escorts and other similar bogus repositioning flights. I figured finally I finally figured out why. It's all just a media stunt. Ever since that news story broke on about on my first combat mission and the sinking of the transport ship, I've been nothing more than a propaganda puppet. The mission where I escorted the general to make up, yep, that was just another flight for the newspapers. The media has been eating up every bit of this too. Every time I land at the destination, I'm treated like some rock star that has come to town. At first it was wonderful, but now I just want to get back to what I came here to do, and that was help me to Obristan back to their border and further punish them for what they've done. It seems like I've become far more val valuable as a symbol of Matova and then as a pilot fighting for my country. It's yet again another Tuesday morning here at the HQ briefing room. And just like every previous morning, I watch the room empty as the other pilots receive their mission details and leave with their squad mates. Just as the last of the combat squadrons left the room, another manila folder slid across the table and came to rest in front of my seat. As I turned it over, I wondered if these new sunglasses I got would do any better in protecting my eyes against the assault of paparazzi camera flashes I'd be facing later today. I glazed over the paperwork, not actually reading a bit of it. I'd figured I'd just look over the route once I got to the plane. My eyes came to focus on the Remarks section of the plane, telling me the names of the ranks of the escortees for the day. Wonder it is I'll be escorting today, I thought to myself. Remarks. Ordnance. Two NAM-64 500-pound bombs. What the? <laughs> I looked up in disbelief! This must be a typo! This isn't funny, you know! The base commander walked over to me and said, Now don't get yourself all excited. This is probably just a big nothing, but we have no one else available to check it out. He then gave me a quick briefing on the situation. There's a group of civilians out in some uh, one of the surrounding towns running around with a calm radio. Over the last month or so, they've been giving us sporadic reports of small enemy units that they say have been moving behind our lines, but every time we investigated their claims, we always come up with nothing. The last two days, they've been at it again, saying there's something being constructed in a town called Krasnaya, just north of us. Again, we think it's nothing, but we, we told we'd send someone to check it out. Well then, maybe the military brass wasn't completely incorrect when they say how valuable I was as a symbol. It appears that this group of civilians is just one of many that has popped up as a result of my influence and the news stories. These civilians have seen what I've done and they feel that they can do the same and want to make a difference. Maybe I've been the ignorant one out here. This is Relic 1, we are taxiing to the active runway. Very happy that the weather looks to be a lot better today. Uh, I would not fancy on a flight without my hydraulics. Never mind the fact that the grass took a lot of time to clear away from the undercarriage. We are setting her out to grace just yet. We have a job to do today. Withdrawing the air brakes. 
laps down. Copy that, Tokyo Tower. Relic 1 will climb 300. just got an update pertaining to your mission. The civilian informants in the town of Krasnaya have confirmed that there is a makeshift enemy FARP on the western edge of the town. Our informants are hiding out in a nearby house and will contact you via their radio when you get close. Switch to their comm frequency now on channel 11. Copy that, Sochi Control. Relic 1 will switch to channel 11. One bombs away. What's the damage? on the pad, they're taking off. I have enough uh, gun ammunition to make it work. I'll come around and finish them off. Clear. 
Radar to enemy attack helicopters. Relic 1, go in. Guns, guns, guns. Splash 1, splash 1. Relic 1, coming around for another path. There he is. I see him. Guns, guns, guns. Couple of hits, but nothing to actually put that thing out of action. Coming around for another pass. Must not lose sight of him. That should do it, hopefully. Not actually burning yet, but maybe he's going down anyway, we'll see. Relic 1, guns, guns, guns. Such a son of a bitch. Looks like he needs another volley to properly understand that this is not a place he's supposed to be. The problem is the last side of the bus. Ah, there he is. I see him now. He appears to be trying to climb the mountain range with his helicopter. I'm just gonna come about and see what I can do about it. Bastard's gone on the, into hiding again. Fuel state is good. All I have to worry about is the ammunition. Well, that should end you once and for all, my friend. Bye-bye. Helos are two miles away. They have to be over the top of the neighboring town to our east. Yeah, copy that. They have been shut down. I say again, both Helos have been shut down. I'm just going to riddle the farp a bit with the whatever bullets I have left. Relic 1, guns, guns, guns. Looks like there's a truck down there. Let's hit that one. Ah, crap.
crap out of ammo. Just when things were looking up. Oh well. Relic one, returning to base. So this is Relic One coming in for landing. Hydraulics is such a nicer way to land it than without. Such a control, Relic 1 wishes to report first aerial kills. 